Hi. Okay. <laughs> I was going to jump in. I was going to talk. I was going to. I was going to go. Let's no, do it at the same go, time. I was going to do it. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's the Loose Screws podcast. It's the Loose Screws podcast. Yeah. Welcome. It's Welcome. The, it's the 14th uh, July, of July. 14th. Uh, this, is this is episode 141. 100 and something. <laughs> it's Loose Screws. I'm I'm Commander Jan Trax. Welcome. You win. Is it over? Yeah. Boy, yeah. this is going to be a good one. <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, uh, joining me tonight is obviously Commander Chig, right I, over I, there. I, I like how you actually knew which episode number it was, and I went episode something. <laughs> that just shows who's actually more prepared all the time. <laughs> I like, fr- my eyes frantically darted over to the note sheet to make sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, so you have the note sheet open. I forgot to open the note sheet. <laughs> Every single time I start, I have to look at the clock on my computer screen as I am saying the date, or I will not know what day it is. Yep, I'm the same. Yep. yep. Also here, Commander Nurgle. Hello, sir. Good evening, everybody. And also, Jay Baron made it in today. Hi. 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 He goes by B. He <laughs> goes by B. Notorious B. Uh, and way up at the top, because he's, he's streaming into the channel at the time, Teflon. Hey. Hey. What's up? I almost lost you up there above the recording robots. No, I'm just, is that you telling me to stop streaming? <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't think it's going to influence anything. Um, that's a that's a different, sto- that's a different story. Uh, so, still not pregnant yet, Chig. <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah, let that you're lie. Up, you're up to fifty now. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, uh, this might be a quick game. <laughs> so teflon what have you been doing this past week oh just the summer time is really busy for me um because the kids aren't in school so i don't have as much time to get stuff done as i need to and um running kids around to do stuff and make sure they're taken care of and entertained so i haven't played any elite i have played crusader kings because by the time i get time to play uh that's all i can Managed to muster up the energy to do. So I made a naked chig. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, chig. Last week you ate the Pope. This week you made a naked chig. I don't know which yep. is the greater accomplishment. Yep. And your queen Follow is that pre- up. Your queen is Prego. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> Hopefully it's yours. I don't care. <laughs> there's no paternity <laughs> tests in the middle ages i got this it's mine uh, other than that just been selling raffle tickets for my daughter's cheer team stuff like that hip hip hooray yay yay okay uh all right well chig chig what's yeah. up we you weren't you were you were busy last week Oh, yeah, right? so, yeah, I, I, a lot of stuff. Some some real life stuff was going on, and, and yeah, uh, my my mom was attacked by a madman. For those that hadn't heard, I I did post the news article in Chig Chat. Uh, she's recovered. She actually went back to work, even though she's still wearing a back brace and has a uh, uh, compression fracture in her spine. Oh. But hey, she's I guess she's a tough old bird. Uh, so there's that. Um, other than that, I've I've been able to play very little i have snuck on we did some bug killing at some point i don't even what day of the week did we do that was that sunday monday saturday saturday uh, friday, friday and saturday and Saturday. i was on yeah yeah two nights in a row we killed a, a bunch of bugs so so there's that um i i want people's uh <laughs> what we were talking before the show about you know having something streaming during on YouTube while we record the show rather than just a static image. And oh, yeah. I, I do like the idea of just streaming me eating shit during the show. Not <laughs> not eating literal shit, but like eating crackers and, and eating cheese. And I just eat the whole time shirtless on a webcam to her YouTube channel. If anybody likes this idea, c- come and say in Chig Chat, you know, go for it, dude. But you know, there's a Twitch channel dedicated to that, 
that right. Well, there's going to be a YouTube channel dedicated. Yeah, there's to about it. to be a YouTube channel. It's called Loose Screws. <laughs> Loose Screws. All your friends. Loose Screws. Loose Screws Jig. after dark. So we just our Jig's nipples. <laughs> Jig. Pig ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, oh, oh. so we could we could really kick this into high gear. Actually, everybody brings a webcam. We we get kind of a Brady Bunch situation going. No shirts allowed, of course. Of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. That's great. <laughs> it's I, not I, like we've I, ever I, been ch- child friendly. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> well, we're we're keeping it from the waist up, right? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Oh, so. oh, the waist up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know. We could call the section. We could call the segment "Doors and Crotches" in each webcam <laughs> <laughs> as a crotch or a door. <laughs> oh my God! Jig, give me a name. Doors and crotches for what? a girl. Oh, for my child. Yeah, uh, Dora. Then Chiglet. Do- <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this show went off the rails quickly. I love it. All right. There are no, this is the secret. There never were any rails. <laughs> That's my secret, Cap. This show, was, this show was off the rails 45 minutes before it started. I'd say 140 episodes ago, but all right. yeah. Yeah, we sat here designing Chig's, Chig's ruler for how long before the show started? Yeah. Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Uh, Nurgle, you're next up. You're next up. Do it. Nope. He said crazy. Nothing. Now, crazy busy uh, week at work because next Monday I get on a plane and fly to Washington, D.C. for a week for a conference. So that'll be fun because, you know, flying is always such a joy. That's always a fun place to be. Yeah. I hear I'll that's look- gotten better in the last year or so. Well, you mentioned airplanes. Let me just bring something up. The, I, I work at a car dealership, right? And the car dealership is like, literally one mile from the airport. So we often get airplane noise and stuff. So sometimes, you know, you got to kind of stop talking because you can't hear each other, you know, when you're, when you're talking about a car. Well, um, this weekend there's an air show in town (laughs) and the blue angels and shit are going to be flying overhead. So pretty much car deals are going to be non-existent. It's going to be a fun day to do freaking nothing. I mentioned that. Sign and sell. Sign and sell. Yeah, just hand them a pen and a, and a blank sheet of paper, and I'll yeah. fill in everything afterwards. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and the, I, I've actually had a chance to do some BGS stuff and play a little bit this week, and I think uh, probably this weekend before I get on a plane, I'm going to do something really stupid and pull my clipper out of mothballs and convert it into an AX ship. And I know somewhere... Tracks just had a seizure when I said Clipper AX ship. Yeah, what are you thinking? <laughs> Clipper AX, mm. what the fuck are you thinking? It's it's a carcass I have laying around, and I'm going to fly around the periphery and tag things. Yeah, but, yeah, but you're not going to be able to hit shit with the convergence on that thing. Well, I guess you can just tag the main body. Forget about yeah. parts. Yeah. Uh, well, there's there's quite a few Clippers in those zones that we've been flying in, but I guess that's our fault. Well, if we've had picking the zones. Yeah, we who's flying a Oh yeah, you're right. No, 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 no. Yeah, I mean yeah. the NPCs. A, a, yeah, the NPCs. I mean, we've got the one cutter, uh, Beetle. Well, Beta X. He Beta always buys his cutter in there, which really, a really good AX ship. Yeah, they're tough as fuck, and they can drop the shields on them pretty well, quick for you if you need them to. So yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I, I, I've I would, never flown it, but it's it it seems like it's sort of a um buying your way in approach just because you're yeah. just you're just buying so much hit points yeah uh, yeah but you know it's it, it does it does damage i don't know and it's I, fast I, enough get away if it has to so right. really see that's what would i don't know if it would be oh but, the cutter's really straight lines it's un, unbelievable for its size it's straight true. line speed yeah and i guess you don't have to worry about running hot or anything you're not you're not trying to avoid taking damage. You're trying to tank it. So, uh, there's no yeah. really trying to tank in AX combat. You're either tanking it because that the bug is falling in love with you, or yeah, you're not. <laughs> yeah. Just, you're you're yeah. either taking damage yeah. or you're ice cold. Yeah. yeah, and there's there's no point in going ice cold with a cutter. You're, the whole point no. of using the cutter is you can take the hit. So, 
Yeah. Well, you're, you're, and you're playing, he's playing shielded and everything else. Yeah. He's just, he just, yeah. <laughs> Cutter don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Cutter don't care, man. Cutter don't care. Yeah. yeah. Now you can do it. Clipper will move, right? That, I mean, and that's, yeah. that's why I'm, that's why I'm going to use the clipper. Cause you know, unless I want to go somewhere and buy a new hull, I either have to strip down my Mamba, which I'm not going to do, or dust off the clipper because I want something fast enough to disengage if I have to. And I have yeah. the parts lying yeah. around. So. Fly a courier. There you go. That's true. I could actually fly my piranha in there. Good. Yeah, courier, all, all heat sinks, courier. You'll be able to get away from anything if you start to take any damage. Yeah, I could do that. That's also another idea. I might try that. There you go. Sweet. Um, I'm going to go next to B, Notorious B. I, s- I don't know why I said it in that voice. B. I don't know what came over me. What you been up to, man? B. Uh, not much. I mean, work's been lighter for the past couple of weeks, hence me being here. But uh, yeah, no, I just really haven't been doing much at all. Either in game, except. Maybe a little bit of bug smashing. Still trying to work up to a basilisk. Still haven't quite got there yet. I almost got one, but nah. Nah, not mm-hmm. quite. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that's that's about, that's literally about it. Yep. That's the size of it. Cool. Well, I'm glad you yeah. can make it. Yeah. Uh, for me, I have been working a lot, but I had... Uh, like I said, we had that Friday and Saturday unusual game days for me, actually. But uh, family was, tra- my wife was traveling and it was just uh, me home alone. So I was like, oh, we're going we're gonna to play some games. And, you know, they were, the AX is back. So that's what we were doing, playing in those um, capital ship instances. We were in favoring the, uh, uh, the Imperial... Ship, what the heck's that called? I and B uh, something or other. Audacious Dream. That's yeah. what it is. Audacious, audacious Dream. <laughs> um, and they've been fun. So the the AXCZs appear. Well, whatever. I guess we'll talk about that a little later. Um, or maybe did it get talked about last week? I don't remember last I week. I don't remember. Oh. Briefly. <laughs> Briefly. Briefly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we'll I'll, I'll we'll get to that. I guess when we do. But yeah, they've they've, they've been working. It's not as good as. Um, when there's an actual incursion, because then we get missions and um, the this, this stacking of, of money and rewards that comes from all those missions is, is just unbeatable. But nevertheless, um, these instances have been working better because while they don't themselves function any more regularly than the old CZs, until the Hydra phase, the Hydra phase keeps it ends up spawning three or four other interceptors while you're fighting the Hydra. Uh, so that's pretty nice. You can just break off and kill a few extra little ones um, in process. So yeah, it's been cool. Uh, also on my other podcast, my co-host, they uh, their baby was born today. I got to see a new baby this morning on, oh, on yay. video chat. So. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that's not really news for this podcast, but it's exciting stuff. So there you go. Um, hell, that's it, man. That's it. You want is is there is there anything else we should talk about on this show? Probably. Nah, I think we can call it a show. All right. Yeah. I mean, I got it's good right. job. Yeah. <laughs> Wrap it up. All right. Just, no, we can. We, this is this is a. This week, it's not like a lot of stuff has happened. There was not a stream because the stream is going to ha- the uh, uh, frontier stream is going to happen on Saturday, live from LaveCon, Frame Shift Lave. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, yeah. So anyway, that's going to be Saturday. So whatever happens, then I don't think there's going to be any like big news drops or anything like that. Um, but. But there basically isn't anything exactly new except a little bit of the uh, the story inches its way along. So yeah. I guess, uh, as we often do, we start with some uh, squadron update. So let's jump to that now. Incoming priority message. 
Squadron briefing. All right, so we are dealing with uh, quite a number of systems that have overheated and are above 60% or above 65%. Uh, and headed towards the possibility of an unwanted expansion. We are prepping the system KZ Andromeda uh, for a future expansion by trying to cause a retreat. And then, of course, once that retreat starts, we'll kick one of our own systems into expansion to try to move in there. Uh, no other wars or elections or anything going on for us, although there's plenty of systems around that have minor wars and stuff going on in them for people who want to do that. And all of the details for everything we've got going on are in the Standing Orders channel, in the Loose Screws Faction channel, in the Discord. If you want to see what's going on, check that out. And if you have any questions, you can post them in there and ask us. Please, Please. for the love of God, ask questions. Mm -hmm. Ask if you don't know. And if you do know, still ask. It's the best way to get your questions answered. Just to ask. Yes. Oh, that's so wise. Hey everybody, NL Hate has joined us. Welcome. Yay! Hey, what's cracking? Oh, what's cracking with you, my friend? Um, well, I, I've been uh, I indulged in the Steam Summer Sale and haven't haven't played very much Elite. What'd you pick up? Uh, Far Cry Five and Tiny Tina's Wonderland and Titanfall Two and some DLC for Space Engineers. And something else is escaping me right now. Oh man, Titanfall 2 is incredible. Escape from Early Tarkov. Uh, Escape from Tarkov isn't available on Steam. I know, you just said it's escaping you, and I thought it was funny. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. It's I'm okay. A dry. Uh, I actually didn't know it wasn't available on Steam, because I don't know anything about that game, except that it's a game. And apparently Tarkov is in it. Is it a video game? It is a video game. Okay. I'm smart. <laughs> I mean, it's the sort of game where I feel like not knowing anything about it, I would get the gist. You know? You gotta get out. Right? That says it in the name. Yeah. It's kind of there on the tin. Yeah. Cool, man. Well, welcome. Uh, I'm gonna stop waiting for that joke to pay off, I guess. <laughs> it'll come around maybe it'll come around um so tomorrow you're just gonna start laughing for no reason that's why <laughs> somebody will get it well i'll Something tell you what thinks it's funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> um i i am going to i'm gonna say let's talk about the bug bug report now because the rest of the story content and the Thargoids have to do with each other. So we'll just lump that all together. What do you Sounds say? Good. All right. So bug bug report. I don't think I have a sound for this. Ew, bugs. What could I do for bugs? Um, uh, Something gross, right? Uh, or just crickets chirping. Yeah, oh. here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Genius. All right. I like that. Um, well, I don't have that prepared right now. And so, um, anyway, the, the usual, I just have the same, the same uh, bug list in, in the links in the show notes. Anything special anybody's detected? There's been no updates or anything, so. Well, didn't uh, Sally, I don't know the rest of her name, mention that they're looking into the CQC uh, issue where you crash if you try to play CQC. They're, they're actually looking yep. into that. Uh, that if you're wanted around the mega ships, or if you pick up a bounty around the mega ships, oh, supposedly right. you can log out and log back in, and it should go away. Um, but if that doesn't work, we're still working on it. So I don't know what they actually did or didn't do, <laughs> but but there's right. that, that 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 they're aware of, you know, a couple of these things, and they they've tried some, you know, basically hot fixes to try to get them fixed, but. Uh, that that one's weird to me that their their fix is telling you well just log out and log back in and it should go away just is is odd to me I don't know how that you know what they did simulating game would cause that so I, I I don't know well that, that's so all the, I've got the issue there is um, from what I can tell this actually hasn't happened to me because I was warned about it ahead of time and I just didn't go there but apparently the these megaship scenarios were coded so that they would not 
give you a bounty for uh, you know dis- discharging your weapons inside the zone and and everything like that, so that you could effectively fight Thargoids that were attacking the mega ship. So good on good on them for that, right? Good job. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. We like. Except that apparently it doesn't. It didn't fully take on the Alliance ship. The other two seem fine, but on the Alliance ship, because it has missile launchers, the splash damage from the missile launchers occasionally damages the mega ship, and that's coded in the game as whatever the closest ship at the time must be. It must be their fault. So they issue a fine or a bounty or whatever to whatever ship was closest when their own missile splash damaged them. Wouldn't it have been easier just to, like, not have them shoot missiles anymore. Yeah, they have uh, experimental ah. anti-Xeno weapons that they're all mounted with. They gave them all unique weapons just for this plot point, and and yet they're still shooting. Anyway, hopefully they're anti-Xeno missiles, right? <laughs> no, they're bounty-giving missiles. Yeah, yes. <laughs> they're just standard missile racks otherwise, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, I don't know. I guess it it seems like they're trying to work out a server side fix as best they can because it would take longer to deploy a patch or something, but I don't know. It's not that big a deal. Just don't fight at the Alliance ship. I don't think it matters to the story anyway. No. Right? No, Everybody's fighting the at the, the Imperial ship anyway because I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's because its position is better. Uh, and the weapons okay. look cooler when they're firing, so, you know, pretty light. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay, any more, any other bugs? All right. Yeah, Great. Uh, ah, fantastic. Yeah. I haven't checked up uh, on the GPU thing um, in a bit. I know we're getting close here to when uh, when we ought to expect some kind of word about the update that's coming in August. Um, I think as we get closer, I'll get a bug in their ear and see what they can say. And, and then I guess we'll find out if it turns out to be lies. Um, I'm still very annoyed by it every single time I play, but, you know, whatever. Whoa. Whoa, what? <laughs> <My bad. laughs> I thought you were playing sound effects at me. Mothership is <laughs> gearing up. Uh, someone had turned my air conditioner off, and I needed to turn it back on before my GPU started to warm up. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I'll tell you what then, it's time to kick it over into the real stuff, and that's the in-game news. So let's start off strong with uh, Blame the Bard. Blame the Bard, the Tin Hattie on Mixed Bars! Holy shit, what did the chef put in the food? The walls are a wiggling and a jiggling and a wobbling and a gobbling it. <laughs> Thanks. Let's get started while I stare at the pretty colors. Welcome aboard the Tenhadium Express. Let's jump on into the recap. July 8th, Thargoids attempt to break Salvation's hip and invade Loosecrew's Discord server. Ah, uh, July 11th, Fed's caught with pants down on a smoke break. July 12th, Salvation continues to screw the rules by having money. Second phase of Taco Tuesday CGs. And July 13th, reporting live until dead, Vox gives us the red shirt report. And on July 14th, two more weeks of bug smashing, and the feds ask pilots to help cast a wide net to catch some smoke. That's all for this week. Have fun out there. (laughs) Love it. It's really, really close to the recorded version you'd sent to. I know, I know. <laughs> I just had <laughs> to put in. Yeah, I just had to put in. You know, today's news real quick, and then you know, go from there. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting good at uh, you know just getting repetition in, and we're good. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. All right, all right. So I don't know. I don't know where to start with this. This is basically the whole thing. This is the only thing that's going on, right? This story inching along, and it seems oh like every week they're God. just extending it another not, week. Not and- fucking <laughs> annoying. Not quite. They are running this little sideshow with the drug dealer that the feds are after. Yeah, yeah. 
It seems and, like a distraction and, for the sake of making it seem like a lived in yeah. galaxy, right? And, That's and exactly I wanna, what it is. I want to bring up two things. One, I would like to re-extend my invitation to Mr. Church to set up shop anywhere in screw space under the condition that A, he can continue to sell his drugs exclusively to Federation systems, and B, we get 10% of the cut. And I would like to know, for the CG to catch him, where's the opposing CT to defend him? I think we have to take that on ourselves, something I'm willing to do. Yeah, well, here Art. we are again, right? There's still nothing, nothing, no way to oppose any of this. Right. Yeah, you have you have Nurgle and I's blessing to defend Mister Church in this CG. Excellent. Anybody who sells drugs to Feds is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I just murder them in cold blood, but hey, you know, <laughs> same, same yeah. difference, just different. Yeah, drug. Take, take, <laughs> take right. the fentanyl out of the equation. Just get it done yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get the middleman. Yeah, but yeah, that's a that's a non-story. I mean, they've they. I don't even think can we even say they've made it one-sided because they're not doing anything but bounties, are they? Uh, let me it's check just that bounties. Real quick. I think. Yeah, I mean that that barely qualifies as one-sided. There's not even an incentive. Yeah, hand and bounty vouchers. That's it. Three hundred and fifty billion. <laughs> Oh, that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> yeah. And an estimated time completion in six days is about 3%. That's according to Anaris. So, yeah. Mm. 3% in six days. Yeah. It'll jump up a little over the weekend. And I guess they did yeah. that just to throw a bone to the people who aren't interested in AX combat, but right i guess so and and the ax combat continues they just they just keep saying well just a little a little longer a little more um we got the did their deliveries of guardian crap is that still going on yep yep so guard uh, delivering guardian stuff to salvation still going on uh, and that's gonna go until tuesday but the Bounties for the Thargoid ships, that's going to go for two whole weeks, and it'll end it on a Thursday. Yeah, and and we still have, I mean, this is sort of like the discussion we were having before, right? But, like, there's still no way to oppose this. Uh, nope. You know, there. it's like they're, they're setting up these two sides of something as if one side is the Thargoids and the other side is salvation. And it's like, that's not... That's not the choice that I would choose. Like, I don't think that's. I don't think that's a choice. Yeah, yeah. you you choose to oppose both. Right, and I'm, and I we you know the Operation Witch Hunt thing, stuff is still going strong. Basically, completed all their usable goals in no time flat. It seems, and everything and down to the point. I think where. Am I am I right that they have essentially, <laughs> knocked him back to the stuff that is untakeable? I, I yeah. haven't even looked lately. Yeah, but dude, they they have. He invented a weapon and they gave it a name, Proteus Wave. Do you really think they there would have been any chance that they're not going to fire this thing at some point? I mean, oh, okay, yeah. they yeah. named no, no, no. it. They named I, it. Yeah, and, and I I get it, and and I that's actually sort of what I what I wanted to say is like maybe this is our main discussion today, right? It's like just because the plot has to go to the point where he gets to fire the thing and then whatever is going to happen because of that happens doesn't mean we can't involve player activities in that like and still have that be the outcome i mean we've had for one thing they've had cgs with opposition sides and they've slanted mm -hmm. it one way or the other for all kinds of weird reasons uh -huh. um, sometimes it's super obvious sometimes it's not um but even if they didn't want to I mean, I, I don't know. I, there, there has to be some way in storytelling to be able to include the interactivity without it just, you know, with, without the possibility that this, this goes off. I mean, you can, you can say, I mean, you could say anything you want. You could set the goal. I mean, they change goals mid CG. I, I don't even think they have to go that far though. It, it's just, I, I don't, I don't need them to change the plot for me. I just feel it, it feels very stupid to 
have this all set up as if it's involving us, but the only thing we can do is the thing that basically almost everyone universally agrees is the wrong move, right? Supporting this this mass murderer guy. Yeah. So uh, so why? You know, you could still have the superpowers supporting him because the leadership is corrupt and they feel helpless because they got tricked and now their pants are around their ankles and it doesn't mean the independent pilots have to support them. Classic with biotech is still present in Maya and can be kicked out. They are currently in a war at 7.2%. Percent. So oh, they Maya. One or two days away from starting their retreat. Well, Maya's a Maya's a fun system, isn't it? Yeah, they're running three hundred thousand yeah. light seconds between things. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, I I don't know. Whoa, hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, Nature the whole calls. Thing, though, you know, when it when it comes to F Dev and stuff like this, even this CG, I mean. It's like, oh, all right, it's a uh, combat bonds or, you know, AX bonds. This is great. I've got six and a half billion in them. And then the reward is like the garbage goss that is like, yeah. worse than the regular goss. <laughs> oh, in every way. I was so uh, hoping for the plasma. It's like, yeah, all right. Yeah, get I'm like, plasma. like, this is just what, what, what are you guys doing? So I'm just, I'm not even going to sell my bonds. I'm just going to keep stockpiling them because who gives a shit? I don't. Yeah. It's literally the one AX weapon nobody should be buying. Yeah, exactly. And in and in case in case anyone in the audience doesn't realize that the modified Gauss cannon, which is uh, colloquially known as the hammer Gauss, is bad in every way, and it makes perfect sense for it to have been bad because that was the weapon that was good in its original form, and the shards and plasmas are the ones that needed an upgrade to become comparatively viable. So because they, they didn't have a really... garbage version, they needed to make yeah. one. <laughs> so, 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 the, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not like, it's not like it doesn't work, but it's, it's inferior as in use. You know, it's, it has a, 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 it fires four rounds per trigger pull. It has four times the ammunition. It's basically the same thing. The only downgrade is that the damage fall off is shorter, and that sucks because that's a really be, important part. You need to be closer and stay on target longer to do the same amount of damage. Right. It, it's right. It's ass night. I, I'm doing a head cannon thing with it, where it's like they came up with this new goss. <laughs> it's they made a whole, they made, I mean, it's overstock. It's like, man, we got to <laughs> give them something, and they've got warehouses full of these things. And it's like, let's give these away. So that, that's so the what superpower I leaders, they're all like, ah, oh, Witcherly, Witcherly, what are you doing to us? I thought you were going to shoot the thing. We're getting hammered out there. Uh, I don't know. Keep the people happy. Keep them defending us. Uh, I don't know. Throw these at them. <laughs> yeah, give them these things. Here, you guys can take some too. Yeah. Like a closet's <laughs> full of these. Why, why won't anybody buy my Tupperware? <laughs> It's yeah, that that's that yeah. That's what I Yuck. think of it. Yeah. Yuck. Gross. Gross. Yeah. So like I'm I'm still here. I'm still I'm still shooting Thargoids. It's still fun. There's so the new thing that popped up today, and this happened in um I guess it was a tweet or something, or was there a Galnet article about it? No, there was not. Um anyway, there was a there was a tweet that um, clued some people in, and I guess it came up on Reddit too, but apparently there's a new instance in the system that just cropped up, I think, today. Um, and I really wish I had written down the actual tweet, but anyway, I guess it's a new capital ship instance uh, that involves uh, a new, more difficult, uh, essentially, AX conflict zone in which waves of three interceptors at a time come in. And then the ending Hydra phase is two Hydras at the same time. Oh, yes. And I'm so and excited to get out and do that. I'm so excited to try, which is another reason I'm not planning on spending all night on this episode, if I can. <laughs> but just in case we can get one of those in um, yeah. before I go to sleep. I know it'll probably be late, but anyway. Um, but that's exciting because we've really liked what, you know, the new harder ones that that have been here. and. I don't know. It's fun. It's fun. Whatever. Yeah. I fought three interceptors at the same time by myself, and I won. So I'm excited to try it with friends. Yes, with friends. With friends is always better. Friends, friends, friends. That's Raxla. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Somebody's typing in frantically into the notes. Oh God. 
Okay. Um, but I don't think anything changed besides it's formatting. Happening. Oh. Just just formatting. Oh. <laughs> it's awesome. formatting. Um I don't know. What what you know what? Teflon. Teflon. Yes. I, I, I want to ask you something. Okay. Don't you think it's possible to have a story driven game that involves player interactivity and agency? And not give them full control of totally ditching your whole plot. Absolutely. Is is, I mean, you know why I'm asking you this. Yeah. <laughs> is there is there, is there, is there any discussion on that? Because I'm, I'm, I'm a dungeon master. Because he does, he DMs it, games. Like, it, is there yeah. any discussion to be had on this? Because I feel like this shouldn't be a crazy thing to ask for. No. It, anybody I like who's, this plot. Yeah. Why can't we have? Why can't we be doing this in a, just a little bit of a better way? You know, anybody who's ever DM'd a game has done this. Yeah, yeah. So how do you do it? How do you make? How do you? How would you change this so that? We're doing it, and obviously the the Proteus wave needs to fire for this plot to continue, and then whatever happens, happens, but still make us feel like there's a side that we can get onto if we don't want to support salvation. It could be as simple as having a progress bar on the damn CG. And because nobody will ever know if it's actually tied to player inputs or not. So you can have a progress bar for people delivering things that goes up or down based on player activity, and then you can adjust the speed at which it moves. So then the people who are supporting Salvation feel like they're accomplishing something. The people who are shooting the people who are supporting Salvation feel like they're doing something. And then from the background, you can always slide the bar wherever you want and make the weapon fire. Absolutely. That is absolutely 100% something you can do. And it, and it uh, masks that uh, from um, the people who are actually playing. Uh, the, they, yeah, still the, feel, they still feel like they contributed, even though they really right. it didn't. They have no idea whether they did or didn't in reality, but they still have the feeling they did. The other thing you could do is you could... Um, you, when you let them let the player base decide something and then you have a plan either way it goes. Right. And that's, that's the option I'm more of a fan of is like have a plan. Mm. What's the most dramatic thing that can happen if it goes this way? Right. What's the most dramatic thing that can happen if it goes that way? You know, if there's two, if there's a crossroads, it's still easy to decide because it's just two different things. It's what's this, what happens this right. way, and what's the opposite? And and the result can still be Proteus wave fires anyway, right? Like one right. way, oh yeah, the one way he gets everything he wants, and if the opposing CG won and he didn't get everything he wants, then we have some kind of thing where he, he stages like a military coup and takes over a cap ship and crashes yeah. it into the blah blah blah, and the Proteus wave still goes off or something, Ab right? Absolutely, yeah. it's just like I mean, in the like in like when we talked about uh that movie contact last week when we briefly mentioned how old it was that's what happened there's a scene in that movie where um the religious extremists didn't want the machine or to go and so they slipped a person aboard and uh they noticed him but not in time to stop him from blowing the thing up spoiler alerts jesus man oh my the god spoiler, spoiler it just, for like a th almost 30 year old movie it, oh. it comes, yeah. Oh. But it, it just comes down to if if there is something that you absolutely have to have happen to advance the plot, then either you don't give any player agency at all, or you have to give them the illusion of agency. And if it's not something that has to happen a certain way, you let the players decide, and you be prepared whichever way it goes. I mean, it's that absolutely. simple. Yeah. It's just like in D and D uh, for a second, like um, like uh, the group, the you know the game I run for you guys. I mean, we haven't played in a while, but that's because it's summertime. Everybody's busy. Uh, mm -hmm. But um, you know, if you guys decided to uh, just go to a certain place, um, it's like you guys took that ship to that one uh, town. If you had taken the ship to the other city. 
to Fairport instead of traveling the road, then you wouldn't have stopped in Bleakport and uh, the next town that you have to go through if you keep on the road and things like that. So all that would have bypass would have been bypassed. Or if we'd have done something stupid like broken into a prison, you'd have had to try to figure (laughs) out how to handle that. (laughs) Well, okay, but but so the, the the side thing there though is like. If you're, as the DM, if you don't have a story prepared for two towns, right, and that, oh, shoot, my players chose to go left instead of right, what do I do now? I mean, the, the trick is, I would think, having never DM'd a game, the, the story actually happens no matter which town they go to. That's an option. That's yeah, like precisely. sort of the easy thing. Yeah. And I mean, that, that slots right in. I'm mentioning it because it's... It, not because I'm calling Frontier lazy, but that slots right in here. Like if you have a plot mapped out, you can still give us plot points and we're not going to know that the way we didn't choose was going to happen, you know, the same essentially thing was going to happen with a little bit of different wording. It kind of almost doesn't matter. There's been plenty of games over the years where I've played that too, like single player games where you you do something and, you know, it seems like you're making changes to it, but ultimately the thing happens and it happens in a slightly different way. And I mean, that's fine. All path lead to Rome. Yeah. That's essentially like you take the things you, the things you had planned for this one section and you, you change the name of it and move it over to this section. Yeah. And that's where they run into it. Or you just completely wing it. I mean, they're both valid. They're, they're both valid win. choices. Yeah, yeah, one of them, a, a big game company, isn't going to do, obviously. But no, no. <laughs> but this, I mean, this takes you know my, all my complaints about solo play and not being able to um, arbitrarily oppose the CG. It it makes this more important, I think. Like, then you have to have you have to have opposing sides. Like, there's there's kind of. The outline here is there's no reason to never to not have an opposing side to every CG. Like, why yeah. not? Like, even if, the ones yeah. that are like deliver deliver beer to Rackham. Like, why isn't there an opposing CG to that? That like, is steal be a, be beer. A, yeah, is steal beer yeah. from Rackham. Like, maybe you know that'd be fun. I don't know. Like, oh, who yeah. cares? What's the point of not it, having that in? Right. Exactly. It's, Exactly. Yeah, if you're words, going to do a CG, there have to be two sides. Otherwise, just tell us the story of what happened. Yep. <laughs> Give us all the damn detail. Shit. It's like, you Sorry. know, if you're delivering beer, then the other side could be the prohibitionists who are like, they're, yeah. um, they're a puritanical kind of thing where they're like, they're, you know, we don't, you know, no alcohol, drugs or anything like that. Like we're very none uptight. of that belongs at the top of the galaxy. We, and, we are totally, we are totally the only thing that no dancing at the top of the galaxy. We're the stuffy parents and yeah, footloose. And, and for the CG they've got going now, the opposing side could have been, uh, you know, bounties on people hauling guardian goods, and it's sponsored by the Far God cult because they don't want people to kill Thargoids. Well, so now if you do that, if you do bounties on people carrying uh, Thargoid goods, then you have to have NPCs carrying Thargoid goods oh, because you have yeah, Solo. Yeah, you would. Right, yeah, because Solo would. still exists. Yeah. So you have to give me something to hunt so that even though everybody's yeah. in Solo, I can still put, put points on the board, you know? Yeah, that's true. Or you could just get rid of Solo, fine. but that's a different conversation. Well, I can't have everything <laughs> I want. Yeah. Well, yeah. One of those yeah. is a different thing to, un- to untangle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of those is like, just much thornier. I don't care. I think they should get rid of VR support and console support. I know that's a, con- <laughs> that's a controversial stand, but they should get on that. Wait, what? <laughs> where, where am I? <laughs> I? I have a random question. I, do, you guys yeah. think, do you guys think this Proteus Wave thing... I, I, I really hope they do it. I, I hope that they have some kind of cinematic when they freaking fire this thing. I hope it's not just a gallant article that in the Proteus wave fired, blah, 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 because it's so but you, cool. You yeah, that's it true. Be. That is 100% what There should be a YouTube video, though. No, they could do that. They could do a YouTube video of, of like, a cinematic, right? Yeah. I hope they, they could. Just watch they, this. Could. they could. Of, like, speed, and it will take centuries to be effective. And show well, no, and show this. That's, that's funny. the point I brought up a little while ago. I love that. But I that's think you know, you know how like yeah, you see in movies when something like that happens, and they they show cut scenes as it's going out. You know, things are dying as it kills them all. But what right. if the Proteus wave goes out and you get scenes from across where all of a sudden the Thargoids start mutating into something newer and more badass? Well, what know? kind of wave <laughs> is the Proteus wave? I mean, no. I, 
Is it a lightweight? See, even that can take you know years to I, I, reach certain I, stars. I want the cinematic of the Proteus wave going out and Guardian systems everywhere coming to life as the AI wakes up. AI wakes up. Uh, the the Guardian structures on or uh, the Thargoid structures Thargoid. on surface. All of a sudden, the lights come on and they start rumbling and they come off the ground. You know, yeah. all kinds of bad shit could just be set in motion. Not not just we see these things happen. Lights coming on and and weird shit happening. But then that's it. So it's like, oh crap, something want, bad just I want happened. The brain trees to start blooming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, all kinds of cutscenes you know, from all over the yeah, galaxy. Like, weird shit like that happening it would be so freaking cool. Is yeah, it gonna hey, happen? No, cool. they're not that good a storyteller. No, I I 100 expect it to be a Gownet article. Uh, yeah, temper your expectations. Uh, as cool as it would be. Tellers, if you guys are listening, please feel free to use anything you've heard today. Yes, all those ideas are royalty free. Go with them. <laughs> well, considering we're doing a show about their game without paying them or, <laughs> or getting paid i think anything we say they can pretty much steal stop with your logic stop <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah you you honestly think that they they listen to us they, they don't they they better yeah. say eat the pope on this uh i don't know galnet galnet lave no what is it friendship lave frame lave 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 net lave i i don't freaking know i i don't know they, they better do something Eat the Pope. They I did. <laughs> so. Well, I think we laid that to rest. Yeah. Nailed it. That's what we did. Okay. Yeah. Well, we got to keep um, the show going a little while longer. I got nine jumps to get back to 22,460. So, so. <laughs> okay. We don't need to end the show quite yet. All right. Well, I. I'll still have to assemble it and export it before I can. Well, I anyway. Never mind. This is this is shop talk. Um, any any other comments on that though? Seriously? No, no, I got another. I think we. I think it was great. Nailed it. Got to figure it out. Um, okay. Telling well, looking podcasting. For, looking forward to um, LaveCon uh, and any streaming and stuff that's associated with that. Of course, the Frameshift show on Saturday. I. It seems like plans have been made for me and I'm not going to be around for to watch anything live, but whatever. We'll get there. We'll get there. Everybody should watch live. Support LaveCon finally being back in action. Um, that That's it. I mean, that's that's Community Corner, I guess, right? Is there any other stuff? Any of you guys heard anything uh, community stuff that we should stick in there? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Great. Any uh, any any chig chattery? Sure. Oh, show you want me to play a sound? What do you, which one do you want? You can name it. Uh, do you have like uh, the crickets set up yet? Oh, I didn't. That's a YouTube video. I'd have to go and convert that. I'll I'll get a good uh, cricket sound going at some uh, point. What do you? What? What? Let's see. Um, chig chat three. Which one's that? Hey y'all, it's chig chat. Oh, we're gonna get our chig our chat up off in here. I tell you what, boy, it's gonna be time. Oh, I tell you what, this chick chat. Where the cheese at? I love it. You got that. Guy. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> just wow. Okay, uh, um, on. that one really needs a we at the end. <laughs> we. Um, okay, this week's chick chat. I see that our good buddy from the future, Grover Kiwi, hit elite in uh, plant gunning on july 9th so congratulations on becoming elite in a completely Woo-hoo! worthless uh endeavor i uh, i have that elite rank too and <laughs> and and it was it was fun and awesome to get and i'm proud of you sir i think he also got up to elite five in expiration uh good job the only other uh thing as far as like achievements like that this week i know of is uh tracks you know our good buddy jn tracks gin tricks if you will he at triple elite he's got his combat and his and his exploration and I his do. trade uh all up to elite so good job buddy that that's that's a triple elite uh, it's not as good as plant gunning elite but you know you're working on it yep i'll get there um, someday or i won't as far as random stuff, or I won't. As far as stuff in uh, Chig Chat this week, uh, 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 Manitouk showed a picture of cheese with uh, anti-theft devices attached to it, which was pretty frightening and awesome. But 
Uh, then we had uh, my boy Boob, uh, Indigo, Boobtron, <laughs> what we're supposed to go with. So I'm going my boy Boob. You my uh, boy Boob? Posted this adorable picture of his freaking dog that you got to go see. And then Rocky Star picture, uh, put a picture of his little boy that had an, a lump on his neck. And he's going to find out if it's uh, uh, Benigni or Maligni or I don't know how to pronounce words. But hopefully that dog is okay. Um, uh, we're we're rooting for you, and uh, I know I usually do the movie stuff at the end, but Crash pointed out that GI Joe turned 40, 40th anniversary of the cartoon, and I'm like, huh, that's crazy. I love that show. That was like the greatest show ever. You know, uh, I was into GI Joe, and my brother was into He Man, so he had all the He Man toys, I had all the GI Joe toys. So I had to think that He Man sucked, and he had to think the GI Joe sucked. But I actually like both cartoons. But that's neither here nor there. But those was the greatest show ever. I'm just gonna tell you right now. What is? No, I said neither one of those was the greatest show ever. Oh no! But when I was 13, it sure as hell was. But Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was the greatest show ever. No, no, I, or I, Thundercats. I, wrong, wrong. No, knowing is half the battle, my friend. But. <laughs> I then went and looked, you know, I was going to look up some facts on G.I. Joe, the cartoon, and I can't find anywhere that that came out in 1982. Everything I see is it came out in September of 1983. So so that mm-hmm. makes it 39 years old. So I, 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 so I there was, knocked me a there sword, was two buddy. cartoons. There was two G.I. Joe cartoons. Okay. Uh, and they have exactly the same name. But I don't think they were one year apart. They were more like 10 years apart. Like one of them was, yeah, that was like in the familiar. 90s. The, so the original one was the, with the PSAs, like, the, you know, knowing is half the battle shit. That was in the very first one. And then later there was another one. That, yeah, well, there was G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero came out in 1989. And there was G.I. Joe Extreme come out after that. And then G.I. Joe Sigma 6 was another one. So, you know, there was a handful of things, but. Yeah, well, so so the actual date uh, I'm showing is we'll celebrate this 39th anniversary on September 12th, their 39th mm-hmm. birthday, because we're going to go in between birthdays now just because why the hell not? Somebody, <laughs> somebody made me do like oh, something that was 37 years old last week. So I'm, I'm just, I, I'll, I'll bets are off. with. They don't need to be nice even numbers or, or you know, five year or 10 year. Now just send me random shit you want us to celebrate on any given week and I'll, I'll start, I'll start saying it because you know you can get me to say freaking anything um but i don't know that's all i've got for chick chat is just well, you know that stuff you, you know they had that knowing it's half the battle uh or at least why they had that um the same reason a lot of those other cartoons at the time would have an ending segment where they were uh talking to the the kids that were the viewers about um what's a good idea and what's not a good idea and what you should do in this situation and you know how you should say no to drugs or you know is it because schools uh, didn't exist back then no it's because that um those cartoons were actually just like half hour long toy commercials and in order the uh (laughs) i think it was the fcc um i can't remember who it was no acc yeah. They uh, <laughs> mandated that they had to uh, provide something of substance in the show that was educational. Yeah. Uh, rather Instead than of just a Hasbro being, commercial? Yeah, rather than just being a toy commercial uh, for new toys. A, to- a toy commercial that sold advertising time for other commercials during their commercial. <laughs> Whole yeah, basically that's exactly genius. what they were. And every time, every time there was a new uh, He-Man villain, like that was another toy that was coming out. Every time um cobra had another big machine that was another toy every time the thundercats like i remember one episode it's like the thundercats ran into these this group of this other group of peaceful um beings that were under attack they were like the the burr bots they were like these little robotic teddy bears i was like yep those are definitely toys and on Uh, the cartoon they had a price tag on their shoulder of (laughs) 2.99 or something like that yeah it's a great deal only at target <laughs> yeah, that's a great genius. I like that they did that, and I like the little public service announcements at the end. Also, I don't, I don't care, man. You're ruining my childhood dreams. Oh my god! Yes, that's why they do those. IMDb GI Joe funny. was eighty-five to eighty-six. No, oh. eighty-three to eighty-six. That's what oh. I'm showing. Huh. Interesting. I'm on IMDb. Okay. Yeah, I was I was on Wikipedia, which is fucking garbage a lot of times, but 
but I look at a few different sources. But it, but it also like says you? 85 to 86 with 85 episodes, and that doesn't sound right. Yeah. Um, G.I. Joe. I don't know. Us searching Google for stuff in the middle of yeah. our podcast is always, is always a fan gainer. Let's, um, let's talk about cheese and let's close the show. All right. Che- cheese is good. And cheese you is, should eat oh, some. Man. I had some cheese today, in fact. Did you? So did I. Yeah. I had, I had, uh, uh, I just had so, like, like these cheese filled breadsticks. They were freaking amazing. Just a, a little, little Swiss on a, uh, on a sandwich. Yep. I, I had some Gouda Good and times. some Havarti too today. I had a lot of cheese today. Oh, come to think of varieties. It. Anybody uh, else have some cheese? I made a, a lasagna the other day. And so I had, um, yeah. lots of mozzarella on it and then, uh, some, Bread. Uh, I'm in. Where was my invite? I hey, man. across the country for lasagna. You, it's not across oh. the country, Chig. You're five hours from me. That's <laughs> that's across the country with gas prices. Feels like yeah, not California, that's man. That's not across this country. That might be across the country. With gas the these in days. Europe. With gas these days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> across the country is distance, <laughs> not how much gas it is. Like. End quote, repeat the line. <laughs> uh, okay. That was yeah, so that's a good got. cheese, good cheese chat. I like that. Um, any other, any, any other business, gentlemen? Uh, funny business, uh, show business, dirty, dirty business, <laughs> risky, risky business. business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that'll do it then. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us through this fiasco. If you like the show, please rate and review, blah, blah, blah. Find us on Discord. It's a fun place to, to do and be, unless you're mean, in which case you're out of here. We don't tolerate any of that. Discord.io slash loose screws. If you're mean, especially if you're mean to us. Uh, Shut up. Uh, yeah. Get on with yeah, it already. Exactly. exactly. That's what's going to happen to you if you're mean in our Discord. Yeah. That's going to happen to you. So, I'm mean to all of you all the time. He kind of is. Oh, man. Yes, Definitely, but it's you're a making me look stupid. Name. We let him stay. Well, he does that to us all the time. <laughs> All right. We also have a merch store, loosecrewzd.com. It's got stuff there, T-shirts and whatnot. We conduct business there. Yeah, it's where, we do our, it's where we do our business. For what all you your materialistic needs. Yeah, well, well, some of them. Buy a water bottle. Buy a coffee bottle. <laughs> uh, okay, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining me, Chig, Nurgle, Hate, Bard, Teflon. Tracks. You can read. Soundboard. Well, Soundboard. Geo maybe, I just, board. maybe I just memorized them. You don't know. All right. Exclamation point recording, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, they both stayed here the whole time. That's impressive. Yeah. We yeah they're doing all right tonight. Yeah, just Thank be like eight eight here with silence in the middle of the show, but that's fine. <laughs> Thanks for staying here, listener, yeah. for listening to this this long. Yeah, yeah. How yeah. 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 long can we all keep right. doing this? We'll we'll we will see you next week, and until then, fly loose and screwy. They I'm never see go, us. Hey, tr- they would hey, see us if we do if our we do YouTube the web thing. thing. Yeah. All right, all right. Call to action. Call to action. If you stayed this long into the show, you're clearly a dedicated fan, and I want your opinion and yours only. Please come to show feedback and tell us if you want us to include something else in the video here. And if you want it to be our webcams, and if you say that you don't want it to be our webcams, we might just say no. <laughs> but tell but us the truth about anyway. what you think. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start an only fans. Not allowed. Sh- only shirts, fans. Are in- sh- <laughs> shirts are not allowed on the Loose Screws loose, podcast. Loose Screws only fans. Only fans. <laughs> Nipples free. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to be it. Everybody say goodbye. Bye. That didn't uh, mean free of nipples. Bye.